Okay, we're out on the playa in Death Valley, a place known as the Racetrack. Let's go look at some rocks. Very rough road. Took, oh, almost two hours to get out here. Sometimes it was 10 miles an hour and sometimes it was about 20 miles an hour and not very fast because it's so washed. You can't really see it very well, but there's a band of white across uh, the valley. It's quite a ways, uh, probably a mile, half a mile, maybe. And that rock came from that band of white and then landed here, about right here somewhere, okay? Rolled and maybe slid before. And let's follow this one's path. Okay, it made quite a nice gouge. And then let's see where this one takes us. Following along the trail, it's quite a ways. You can see it's pretty deep. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking. And there's the rock. Is that cool or what? I think that is just fantastic. I And there's the playa. I just really like this rock. You can see, there's the rock right there. Students, this is quite a phenomenon. To see a rock on the racetrack in Death Valley. You gotta come in here, it's January. And the reason why I'm coming in January is because um, it's 115 degrees. I'd rather be cold than not be able to get cool. I don't like that much hot. Cars overheat, problems like that. It took two hours to get on here on a very rough road, 27 miles. It's on the northern end of Death Valley, but you can see how big the rock is. And in order to photograph this, we have to be just at the right light, at the very beginning of the day or the end of the day, which gives us enough contrast to photograph this rock. And you can see just about how big that the rock is. It's pretty cool. The racetrack. A phenomenon. A geological phenomenon. I like it. How do these rocks leave their marks across this dry lake bed? Well, all the conditions have to be just right. There has to be a fast freeze, and then there has to be a high wind after that. The freeze leaves the surface very slippery on this clay playa and then the rocks slowly move across nobody's ever seen it happen it's that rare of an event look at these rocks who's going to win this race i came and camped overnight so i could see morning and afternoon light look at these rocks some of them are as big as i am they can be huge i went past a place called tea kettle junction and camped and there was a fox that came to visit me in the middle of the night twice he was very curious. The racetrack, a must-see place. It's cool.